Hi everyone! This video will show such important things as email processing. For this template, we need a real email for test registration in our lesson site. And so we go to a page with lessons and begin registration. To fill in the fields, we'll also use the macros. For explanation of working with macros, you can see one of previous video. So we fill in the fields of first name and last name using macros builder. Email field we fill in manually using an existing email address. Passwords fields we also filled manually. Select a capture and record a few actions to recognize capture. Remain on only to click on the Create button. After that, if all data is entered correctly, we get a message stating that we receive an email message. We pass on the tab of the email processing. There are such important fields for the authorization on the POP3 service as login, password, POP3 server address, port, enable or disable SSL. There are a few buttons for the quick settings of some POP3 services, such as gmail.com. I just use this service of POP3. So it remains only enter username and password. After entering all information, click on the button to receive messages, and the list shows all the messages and the mailbox. We can choose to parse HTML or text. Select the text and find the needed as a link in the letter. Fill the first field to select the needed message to us. Use the backslash to escape a space. The second regular expression to pass the message, since we are looking for the link, will use appropriate regular expression. The digitals are at the end of link may be different. So we use a dot and an asterisk instead of digitals and backslash to escape a question mark. That's all. Link is found. Let's go to this address to complete registration. Create a new step and go to this URL. Registration was done successfully. Copy the step in the template. And copy to the template a step with email processing. You can change any of the branches here, for example, email, password, configuration of capture recognition, 
let's change the order of steps. To do this, right click on the arrow and remove the link. Now click twice on the resulting branch of one step and then click twice on the input branch of the email processing. This way connect the last step. In the email processing step are shown all fields for the authorization on the server. Copy the parsing result of a message and paste it as a link for the next step. Let's run this template on execution in debug mode. Enter the capture manually. Step of processing email requires some time to finish. After finding the letter, button next becomes active. Registration is completed successfully.